What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the bitch today. You feel me? All right. Black YouTube has gotten even worse. Worse. Uh, can the, uh, let's give the homie uh, the proper shout out. Oh, man. yeah, yeah. The homie uh, Cameron. Yeah, he be. He be do uh, dropping some dope like commentary videos and stuff like that. Go on. support him, subscribe him. For subscribe, sure. Subscribe, subscribe. Because I think he recently just reached 100K. Like he just hey, reached 100K. Shout out to the homie, man. man yeah, uh, y'all yeah, go support him. The link to the original video will be down below. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way y'all can go check out more of his content and whatnot. So we're talking about black YouTube and how much worse things have gone. Uh, yeah. It's getting pretty bad out here, man. I'm not yeah. going to hold you. With the 20 V1s and, and yeah. what's going on. At first on. it was cool because mm -hmm. it seemed like a cool idea, but then it started to get real toxic. <laughs> um, people started popping balloons for, you know, yeah. crazy reasons. Yeah. They would pop the balloon before they would even hear the, hear the person speak. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, damn. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just one of them things where now it's just like, everything's about, I guess, trying to be funny and yeah. it's, so forth. So. It's not more... It's, it's. I think it's been oversaturated too, because there's a lot of content creators that do the same thing. Yeah. Which I get it. That's gonna happen. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. People but gotta. I, they gotta do the most to to go. Yeah, up yeah, level. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. People gotta take it up a notch. So I mean, once again, there are channels dedicated to doing that, and no hate, and you know, uh, on that front, it's just now it's kind of getting into this weird space, yeah. and uh, we got to do better, man. But let's check this out, see what Cameron has to say about some of these channels, man. All right, man, let's go. Uh, yeah. My little sister got a BBL, asking homeless people freaky questions. Little RT twenty v one. This is actually getting out of hand. A yeah, few months terrible. ago, I dropped a video titled "The Problem with Black YouTube," and in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their Shout content and what they actually Shout put out on the internet, and the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most corniest <laughs> content possible. <laughs> All the public that, interview and like twenty v one. Yeah. That's very true. A lot of people that be just doing this horny, like the thumbnail always is something like, mm -hmm. all right, bro, that's kind of wild. Like, I'll be mm -hmm. like, come on, bro. Can we get past that? <laughs> Spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback. You know, some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little right. uncle ruckus -y. Some people were even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound white even though I mean I, I'm pretty sure last time I checked I'm black I don't know y'all tell me That's I guess I gotta sound thing. black as well I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound but y'all tell me in the comment Idiots. section below overall there was a lot of mixed feedback Stoop. with that video and right. in today's video I actually wanted to return to that topic of black YouTube once again because I've been seeing some things and I'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1s they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're mm -hmm. unfamiliar with the 20v1 i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person yeah. each round that's pretty much it now like i said these 20v1s are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys saw in the intro yes there was a creator out here who created now that's wild yeah no come on youtube you too. That's kind of wild, that's bro. That's where you come in and say, hey. That's kind of weird. That's very weird. That's, that's very weird, bro. Weird as hell. Created a 20v1 with Little RT, the 10-year-old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Instead of using Little RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20v1s. Other than that, everything else is... What are we doing, bro? Like... It's just weird, man. And the parents that's allowing this, y'all. Y'all are, y'all are, are weird too. Y'all, y'all, y'all the problem. This doesn't happen if you say nah. I don't give a fuck how much money this they shelling out to you. No, bro. You gotta get twenty something plus kids to. That's weird, bro. Super weird. I don't, 
don't know about it's that. Pretty one. much the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description, oh, yeah, yeah, claiming yeah, yeah. that you're gonna make seven hundred fifty dollars, and we already know how that goes. Cash App is not giving you seven hundred fifty dollars no. for free. That just doesn't make sense. That's a terrible business move. Yes. They're still using the exact same intros as one another, and they're also still using the exact same profile Jeez. pictures as one another. Like, there's That's literally crazy. zero creativity when it comes to these twenty v one tubers. Now, one specific twenty v one that I really want to talk about right now because I I feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little RT 20 v one a few weeks ago I was scrolling on Twitter just getting in my daily scroll and I see this poster 20 women versus little RT it's in Atlanta and I also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right I don't know what reddit has to do with this Boy. but I just looked at it and I thought it was a troll but then about a week ago I was scrolling through <laughs> Twitter again and I seen a clip from this 20 v one and when I tell you I was shocked hey hey this is what's your name Tayden what's your favorite color Blue. Blue. Okay. All right. Now. We're done. Streets is done. We we we're overly we're overly cooked. This shit. This is weird, bro. This I, is this is this is so not cool on so many levels. It's, it shouldn't be that you shouldn't be that thirsty for content that you're willing to put kids into this same that's, that's weird bro what the fuck are we doing bro <laughs> it's our people too it's the crazy thing oh that's... my god now this video is made by a youtuber by the name of mike adelaboo who's pretty much another variant of like no love Bar, ryan with the sauce <laughs> all those cornball 20 v1 tubers a majority variant. of his content just revolve around 20 v ones like if we look at his last 12 videos you can see that he did nothing else but 20 v ones and before the 20 v ones this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting mm -hmm. his friends on freaky blind dates like he was basically just doing this cornball content pretty much and i guess 20 v ones got super boring so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix you may be thinking like oh cam you might be overreacting you know maybe nah, this 20 v1 nah. isn't that bad no it's exactly what you think this is a children's dating show this man literally this held a children's risen competition this is not the tiktok Crop riz party. this is the youtube kids riz party none of these kids are over the age of 13 years old what was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video man 20 v1s are getting dead man let's add some children to the mix like bro what the heck What's crazy yeah. is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends when we know the true intentions of this. Like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball <laughs> got a room full right. of kids to try and riz up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I yes. want to know Very. what adults allowed their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. That's like, the this big is question. actually insane. Oh, shit. We watching like this real is, life pedophilia and little shit like this. That's weird, bro. What is this? This is what Kendrick should have been me. dissing. This is actually irritating me. This is this is what Kendrick <coughs> should have been dissing right here. Like what? This is this weird behavior. Like this ain't cool. On no form, this is cool. Nobody's children should be out there. Propped up for some YouTube views. That's the, weird. The this content will... created the parents, all of them. GGs, man. Oh. Anybody that affiliated with this, hey, I'll record this, I'll edit this. No, bro. You hell no. Nah. Hey, you need me to do what? Ah, oh, no, I'm good on I'm that. I'm not. Hell no. Nah. Oh. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That's that wild. is weird. Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, mm -hmm. bruh. Why do we need videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being on a 20v1? Nobody needs Needs this content. What's it's crazy weird. is at the end of this Lil RT 20 v one, this man has the audacity to say, "Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one, or y'all just talk to me, chat. Let me know." Man, I just held the latest dating show weird. for children. Man, if y'all want another one, make sure to tag you your little to keep cousin in the weirdo. comment section. Tag right. little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids? I want them all. Like dog, read the room. Nobody wants another Lil RT 20 v one or another okay. children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the yeah, entire. 
That's how you know. That's the big one right there. Yep. You know niggas, and then niggas should go to the next video and light you up for this one. Mm -hmm. Until you turn them comments on. Mm -hmm. And it all 43,000 of y'all that liked it, y'all weird too. Y'all some weirdos, bro. Weird <laughs> as hell. And the parents is weird. Yeah. Content creator weird. All yeah. this shit is weird. Yeah, it's not even cool, bro. I'm in section. This man probably got tons that of hate wild, for this. Bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And yeah. if you thought that, that was bad, yeah. well, let me tell you that. This 20v1 this we need to be hating. worse. Mm -hmm. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes mm -hmm. by the name of Finesse Two Times. Mm -hmm. And it starts off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women I I and heard finesse two this. times talk that? right mm -hmm. in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's it's genuinely disgusting. So after you nut, do you stay hard or you get soft? That junk gets soft. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about forty minutes for that Johnny for round two. You might not take forty minutes with me. Cap. I'm just trying to see what's the. Why are we having these conversations with your kid there? What was the purpose of the kid being there? Then this little homie go to school with somebody else's innocent child talking about nothing and moving, yeah. moving and bringing something to their attention that they don't even know about. This is why <sighs> niggas don't even be wanting niggas around certain niggas' kids. Yeah, this is weird, too. <laughs> I, keep, I hate to say it like that, but that's exactly why. And people, oh, we want to be in that community, too. No. Go your ass back to the hood. If this is the type of shit we finna be poisoning our kids with and then sending them off to... This ain't the video for me. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Man, one time, right? Oh, God, this a bitch from Atlanta because she married now. Oh, God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch and started sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this home and f me right, though. Since you said when you got out, mess with some skinny girls. Right. And he's just sitting, sitting there, there just bro, soaking this up. You may not think he's listening, but he's listening. He ain't got no other choice. He's just sitting there listening. Like, this is what he thinks is to be normal, to talk to women like that at a young age. My dad's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? This is how he talked to women. So guess what? He going to grow up talking to women like that. He going to be doing that now in school. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing really what he talking about, but his dad do it. And this is the problem I be having. Like, it's weird. Do man. what you want to with your kids, right? Yeah. As long as it don't affect mine. But it affects mine when you t bring, when you have these type of morals with your kid, and then they go to school with my child, in a sense. And then now we're teaching our kids morals a certain way, and you don't. And then now we have that clash. Mm -hmm. And then now we got to have a, a conversation because mm -hmm. the conversation will be had or we're going to have to move something around. <laughs> Let kids be kids, bro. Stop trying to turn them into adults. Let them be kids. Oh, what would you say? The <laughs> only reason why I can't get skinny girls out of my head no more, right? Because cause one time, right, my I was hitting a bitch from the front, right? And my, my she just got the square in there with mm -hmm. My head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation, especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why is this man talking about how he be making right. women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. It's if one of my parents insane. were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff <laughs> oh my miles per hour in GTA, of course. Of and if course. you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s, what about them actually doing these sexual acts? Mm -hmm. There's literally a 20v1 with the rapper JP, yep. and mid 20v1, this man got that MW3 dome, if you catch my drift. Cool. Basically, he was just yapping mm -hmm. it up with these Saw girls, Twitter, and this bro. girl was talking about how she's got that Gawk Gawk 3000, you know? It goes crazy. So you ever had a gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. 
Oh, I can show you better than I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go to the back and this man starts getting gawked off mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting. And I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing Somebody around listening. eavesdropping, listening that, to bro? another man get his meat slurped up. It's completely That's odd to me. These dudes lame, literally look like bro. some cheerleaders, bro. They're outside the door like, oh my gosh, JP. You're really getting your meat slurped off right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thanks. And if you thought that, that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl oh, literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths to basically show how freaky she was. Miss Gabrielle. Nah, you can do it, you can do it. What's your November? Well, why not? Let her do it. <laughs> 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 We're done, bro. Oh. God, please. Oh. Jesus. That just made me sick, Man, bro. this month here. Who is that? That's that uh, Shamar, Shamar. Oh. Okay. I don't even know what. Yeah, I'm not even going to speak. But. <laughs> when I tell you, that clip almost. Yeah. That clip almost made me throw up. I'm glad we ain't see it. Right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to stop. Like, when are we going to wrap these up? I feel like they've had wrap their up, time, B. you know? 20v1s were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, mm -hmm. when Jubilee was doing them. But do we really got to continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This content is room. bottom of the oh, barrel. Yeah. Can, can you think of something else? Oh, wait. We did think of something mm -hmm. else. Pop the, the balloon. balloon. If you're unfamiliar with pop the balloon, <laughs> basically, it's like the new 20 v ones and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand and each round a person comes out and if a person with a balloon likes you then they don't pop the balloon but if they don't like you then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it now mm -hmm. i will say i did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there like when an ugly dude walks mm -hmm. in and the whole room just sounds like the fourth of july i also <laughs> like um ladies how y'all feeling this is wild, bro. <laughs> they know what they doing. Yeah, that's a setup. You know. You know, niggas. Yeah. 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 This nigga, bro. Come on, man. Oh, my. Based on this nigga ain't even Wait, finished the fuck? Like, that is peak comedy. <laughs> or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just oh, cooking all the yeah. women on there. Your name and age I and why you ended up popping your balloon. <laughs> Brianna, 26. How you looking? My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. <laughs> that was pretty funny, oh. you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now I feel like the format is just becoming <laughs> way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox oh, as well. Like, bro, this is too. getting out of hand, bro. These white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they got to start charging more. They got to start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually going to flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby pictures. Is that not weird, bro? Especially coming from these freaky Very ass weird. channels. That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube. And you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of? That that's, is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness. That's kind of like. I ain't gonna say the word. But we going down that that slippery slope. It's it's, it's getting more it's, slippery, it's, bro. It's, and then this this guy's in it. No more. It's, this guy's in it as content. That ain't content. That's just weird. But I I don't get it. But I get why they do it because they know it's gonna get views. It's gonna get attention. But it's gonna every, get clips. All, all views ain't good. Bro. We we know that people with morals and ethics. We know all views ain't good views. But at the same time, they don't give a fuck about that. As long as it doesn't extremely violate what, you know, these websites will allow, they going to post it because they know it's going to get views, it's going to bring more money, people going to clip it, people going to talk about it, and then they're just going to keep doing it until they can't. That's crazy, bro. It's weird. Very weird.
this on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about oh, Twitch, they boy. could not give a singular F nope. about freakiness on their platform. Nope. Twitch would let a woman put deli beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch oh could not God. care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshay Frost, a large black content mm -hmm. creator, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. Yeah, I saw that clip on Twitter. Oh my God. She tracing my shit. And what's crazy is, this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before. <laughs> Ruby Heat. You who? <laughs> Ruby Heat, like Miami Heat. Wild, Heat. Ruby. Bro. That's your first name, like all together. Ruby Heat. That's my stage <laughs> you name. You see this? Wait, what's your real? Good. I wanna know oh, your real name. Oh, I really wanna get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlyn. Like the <laughs> Caitlin. Yo, so weird. I just saw her hair. Right, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh. What is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid record? Like, is the dome that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. That sounds that sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am That's I surprised wild. that Deshay Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL. And also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting because mm. the video is obviously fake. <laughs> Bro, this smell so hella good though. What? Bro, what? Oh! What, what the fuck doing, is bro? going on, bro? I mean, Trey, what is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording, we're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom. You told me to come <laughs> over here. You told me to come over here. You told me to come over here and get some food. Academy and performance the right there. From the shade Diddy stops right there. Well, <laughs> we're just getting Diddy. started because this freakiness continues. <laughs> you got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. You got this man biting on a woman's butt. Ah! Why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They okay. gonna clip this, but fuck, I'm good for. <laughs> ah! Good. You got this man recording a half-naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Bro, he he's a menace, bro. He's a menace. I don't understand. Why is this man yeah. so freaky? The shape right. You need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me <laughs> of one of those dogs that just hump everything. Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that the Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions <laughs> asked. All that being said, I find it insane how us as the black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows, Weird. getting dome on stream, and scamming our audience with the fake cash app in every single this video like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop what is the point of having little rt on a dating show who is this content even for Don't and know. why does it have 43,000 likes and also the sexualization of all this content why does it always have to be freaky or why does it always have to have these like weird mm -hmm. twists like i said there's many phenomenal black content creators yeah. out there but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible but that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you make sure uh, y'all know what we think bro <laughs> we kind of let it be known here but uh shout out to what's his name cameron yeah cameron. shout out to cameron for you know putting this out there it's getting some good views uh as it should more people need to see this because this is this is it's beyond weird it's not cool it's not cool for any race of content creators to be doing this type of shit but it's definitely it's not a good look for our, our own people to be like this is what you stoop down to. I'm not saying you can't do the 20B1s and spice it up, but if you're spicing it up is adding children to the mix, uh, I don't know about that, coach. I don't know about that or one. Or doing that... certain activities on stream yeah. when you know it's underage people watching. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, we're, we're just getting too loose with the content. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, do your adult stuff on adult platforms where you know it's hard for kids yeah. to get a hold of it, but... You know, we putting this content out frivolously, just easily on Twitch for sure. Bro, I get on Twitch and usually see a girl with 
with like a bra on or whatever and just sitting there bouncing around playing the game or yeah. doing something random. I'm like, bro, you don't know who's old enough to just get on here and just see that. They don't care. As long as them subs and them donos come in, who gives a fuck? We're cooked. It's cool though. <laughs> Listen, man, we knew we were going to get cooked. Ah, it the is cookie just real. But hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you throw those likes, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below. What is your thoughts? Do you feel like we're cooked? Is there a way to come back from the cookies? Or have the cookies just gotten started? Let us know your <laughs> thoughts. Continue to spray love, be love as usual. And we catch you in the next one. Peace out. All right. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.